Hey fellow SweetScript developers, Eric from Stoic Software here again today, and in this video we continue our investigation of transitioning our searches from SweetScript 1.0 over to 2.0. Uh, in this edition we will explore how to create our own searches and how to work with search filters in SweetScript 2.0. Uh, to coincide with our series on searching in SweetScript 2.0, I have also created a series of SweetScript cookbooks focused on searching. Um, so if you're tired of NetSuite's uh, unrealistic or even broken examples, uh, then these cookbooks are for you. Um, you will find a link to all the details on the cookbooks at the very top of the video description. All right, let's get started. We begin by looking at the APIs for creating first a search, then a filter. In SweetScript 1.0, we could create a search instance with NLAPI create search. In 2.0, we utilize the search module's create method, which behaves much like its 1.0 counterpart. Uh, as we create the search, we specify its record type, its filters, and its columns. Now, in order to specify those filters, we use the search module's create filter method. And as you can see, there are a lot of options when creating a filter. Uh, we will focus here on just the most commonly used of those, which would be the name, the operator, and the values. Uh, as always, these APIs are best explored through an example. So let's build a search that finds all active employees hired within the past 12 months. So here is a 1.0 version of creating an employee search that finds all active employees hired within the last 12 months. Now we'll be exploring search columns in their own video, so we aren't specifying any here. And because the intro to searching video already describes the APIs for processing search results in detail, uh, what to do with these search results is left as an exercise for you. Now let's look at the 2.0 equivalent of this 1.0 script. And there we have a 2.0 search uh, equivalent to this 1.0 employee search. So we use the search modules create method to create the search, and we specify our filters using the create filter method. Now in SweetScript 2.0, there are actually three different approaches that we can use when specifying search filters. So we've just seen how to use the create filter method. Uh, but that is the most verbose of the three. The second approach is to simply use a plain object with the same properties as we specify in create filter. So let's modify our previous example to use this approach. Uh, essentially, all we need to do is remove the call to create filter and leave the object that we were passing to it. And that's it. We just remove the calls to create filter, leave the plain raw objects there, and we get the exact same result as before. Now the third approach for specifying search filters is through filter expressions. Now if you are already familiar with search expressions from SweetScript 1.0, they have not changed in 2.0. The syntax remains exactly the same. And there we have our filter expression. Filter expressions are my preferred means of specifying filters as they are the most flexible, powerful, and concise of the three approaches. There is quite a bit more that filter expressions can accomplish, but in the interest of keeping this video short and focused, we will leave that for a much more advanced and in-depth video all on its own. We have seen how to specify our search filters when we create a new search from scratch, 
but how do we modify the filters on an existing search? SweetScript 1.0 provided many methods for retrieving and manipulating the search filters, as you see here in the left column. In 2.0, I believe it's quite a bit simpler, more straightforward, and more uh, standardized. So in 1.0, we had to use several methods on the search instance in order to manipulate either the filters or the filter expression. In 2.0, the filters are simply accessible directly via the filters property, uh, which is just an array of filter objects. And we can manipulate this property like any other normal JavaScript array. So we can use standard JavaScript methods like push and concat to add filters to the array. Uh, we could use methods like pop or shift to remove filters from the array. And notice that in 1.0, there actually was no corresponding removal functionality. Uh, we can also manipulate the filters uh, as a filter expression directly via the filter expression property. And we have still barely scratched the surface of searching in SweetScript 2.0, but if you are looking to accelerate that learning and your mastery of searching in SweetScript, make sure you check out the cookbooks uh, with the link in the video description. That is it for this lesson. Uh, if you liked what you saw in this video, click that thumbs up button and go share what you learned with somebody else. Hit subscribe to stay tuned for all of our videos on searching and SweetScript 2.0 in general. Uh, thanks for watching. Keep learning, keep sharing, and I will see you next time.